Now only on Fox 5, the family of a Prince George's County family man shot and killed by his childhood friend, unhappy with a plea deal reached this morning. Adrian Trice's family explaining why with Fox 5's Sierra Fox. Sierra? Jim, Adrian Trice's family has not done an interview with the media since this tragedy, but they exclusively wanted to speak with me. They say they only learned about the plea deal over the weekend, which is disappointing because prosecutors state there wasn't enough evidence to support their case. However, Trice's 17-year-old daughter witnessed her dad being shot and killed, and now she no longer testify in court. 37-year-old Jared Wilson was sentenced to six years behind bars after pleading guilty to manslaughter and illegal possession of a handgun for shooting and killing his childhood friend, 39-year-old Adrian Trice. The mother of the victim's children, Juanita Lee, is still grieving, holding Trice close to her heart. My kids can never see their father again. No, they can never see their father again. His son, he was dead too when it happened. And he can still see him. Like, it hurts. Like, that was my help. I don't even have the help no more. I'm bad. I'm a single mom. Like, this, it hurts. The Dudley shooting happened last June outside of Trice's home on Joel Lane in Temple Hills, Maryland. According to Jared Wilson's defense attorney, Thomas Mooney, Wilson was acting in self-defense after he and his six-year-old son were allegedly assaulted by the victim. The autopsy reveals Wilson shot Trice six times, one bullet to the head, another to his finger, and four to his body. Mooney says Trice was an arm's length away from a gun before he died. Amazing tragedy. Um, it should have never happened. Um, and uh, I think all parties uh, have appropriately um, addressed their level of culpability uh, in um, the resolution to this case. I mean, uh, we, we can't um, ignore the fact that uh, the victim in this case also had access to a weapon uh, and, uh, and a couple of other factors that, that really played into the resolution. But uh, I would say, uh, in, in my estimation, that the uh, the disposition is appropriate. However, Trace's loved ones are disappointed with the outcome. Lee wishes her daughter, who witnessed the tragedy, had the opportunity to take the stand. I think if she would have testified, he would have got more than six years. The Prince George's County State Attorney's Office says all options were carefully considered before this decision was made, which they believe is the appropriate outcome. Back to you.